Hi guys, Ian Apps here and today we're going to be doing SQL injection using a tool I found today called Havage or Harvage. Um Basically it does it all for you, it's better than any tool I've found so far obviously I don't recommend using it if you don't actually know how to do it manually otherwise you will not learn anything but this has probably got one of the best success rates of a um, injection tool I've found so basically you start off by entering your your target URL here and this is literally the first URL I found and so you go across press analyze and it will do its thing for probably about a couple of minutes or so so let's just wait while it finds it in fact I'll pause it so you don't have to wait all this time hello again um, it has found the database it took probably about 50 seconds a minute so no, we click if you click on tables and it will have the database there there are a lot more databases to find and you can find them by pressing get DBs but we're going to go straight to the tables as we don't want to waste time so you press get tables it will quickly find them again so let's look for something that may contain, may contain some valuable data such as uh, users so let's get the col columns from here ticket get columns and as you can see there's login and pass so let's dump this by just pressing get data we can save this to a notepad file if we wanted but we don't need to and as you can see it's found plain text passwords which is very stupid but admin or Cardas, Carlos and Elefante. Remember this is a real life site, I'm not going to do anything bad to it, it's just for educational purposes. But now once you've got these you can obviously gleam the site for more data if you wanted, as there's a lot more databases to go through, but let's go straight to finding the admin. Here you get it back to the default thing and you press start and it basically just searches it's got 400 dorks and it will just find admin page unfortunately I've already tried this one and it cannot find the page probably because it's in Spanish or some other language so and I guess this is an English uh, admin page list but once you've had that you just log in upload a shell and there goes your site I definitely recommend this tool if you're going to use any as it's probably one of the best I've found so far um, but stay tuned and I'll be bringing you some more reviews and tutorials of other tools thanks for watching and stay tuned